steam stabilizer. This is horizontal steam stabilizer and this is EPO. EPO stabilizer. Packing material. Steady pack. And this is a machine for sealing of a strength, steady pack. These are all steady packs and sealing machine. This is the washing area. We have kept uh, washing liquids on the all contaminated materials, items, instruments will be washed in this wash basin. Packing area. Storage area. Okay, now I'll explain you in detail of sterilization monitoring. So, what are all the sterilization monitoring we have to monitor during the sterilization? I'll, I'm going to explain you. So, mainly we should monitor for physical, chemical, and biological monitoring as to be done. What is physical monitoring? So, we should check for the cycle time, temperature, and pressure. So, how are we going to check the cycle uh, time, temperature and pressure in the sense? See, this is the physical monitoring strip. Okay. So, this will be generated by the autoclave machine. Once you put on the autoclave machine for a sterilization process, the autoclave machine will generate this strip. Okay. This will show from the cycle number and the date of sterilization, time of sterilization and what is the mode. And from the starting to ending duration, okay. So, in between duration, what is the process starting time, pre-vacuum time and pre-vacuum holding time and releasing time and sterilization process started time, ending time, cooling time, heating time. All these parameters are recorded with the timings, okay. So, with the timings, these parameters are recorded by the sterilizer mission itself okay so this is a physical verification of a sterilization strip okay so this is the physical verification strip okay so after that second uh, parameter what we are going to check during a sterilization is chemical indicators see whatever the chemical indicator we are using during the sterilization process whether it is achieved or not okay so these are all the indicators we can see during sterilization we will put a uh, you will use a chemical indicator this is all called a chemical indicator from class 1 to class 6 we have so what is the class 1 indicator the class 1 indicator is a process indicator okay these are all the process indicator when it exposed to the heat and pressure this color will get changed okay so here you can see it become black color so before doing a autoclave the color was blue okay so this was a color before autoclave once it is exposed to the sterilization process so that the color become changed so this will give a idea whether the uh, specific temperature and pressure is achieved or not okay so these are all the class 1 indicator these are all the process indicator and class 2 indicator are specific test okay so this you can see it is a BDS bovidic test okay so bovidic test strip this is this will be conducted in a empty load to know the leakage of a autoclave machine okay so this has to be done every day in a empty load okay to know the hair leakage in a machine okay so this has to be done for the pre-vacuum sterilization machines so bds stickers are class 2 specific test indicator 
and here you can see class so here you can see bms sticker these are all the class 4 indicator again it will give a multi parameters uh, process okay so during sterilization whether it is achieved or not and here we can see class 5 and class 6 indicator again this also class 5 and class 6 indicator will be used to know all critical parameters are achieved during sterilization process okay all uh, critical parameter in the sense time temperature pressure and the heat penetration whether it is achieved properly or not although all the uh, process will come to know with the class 5 and class 6 indicator okay so see these are all the chemical indicator which we are going to use during sterilization again to know efficacy of our sterilization whether the sterilization process has been done as per the recommended process okay so these are all the chemical indicators so the chemical indicator before doing autoclave it it looks like this in a yellow color and this uh, in a blue color and class class 6 indicators in a red color so once it is exposed to the proper temperature and pressure this will get changed so that the sterilization process has been happened as per the recommendation okay and so this is the bms BD, bms sticker and even bds sticker also we can place inside this adopter okay so here we have to place and place this uh, adopter inside the sterilization while doing a sterilization and these are all the biological indicators so another uh, monitoring uh, type of monitoring is one is physical monitoring and chemical monitoring so this is a physical monitoring of a sterilization process and this is a chemical monitoring of a sterilization process and one more very very important is biological monitoring so this will give accurate result of a sterilization process so whenever we are doing a cycle of a sterilization along with this chemical indicator we have to use this biological indicator also there is a live spores inside the ample this has to be placed inside the sterilization machine so once the process completed this uh, uh, biological indicator has to be sent to the lab for testing okay so in the test trip if i see this is a biological indicator test report if shows negative then only we can uh, um, will come to know the sterilization process is achieved as per the recommendation okay so always whenever we are doing a sterilization we have to check for the physical chemical and biological uh, monitoring has to be done okay so these parameter we have to see and the CSST person responsibility is to document in a proper manner. See, this is the CSST log register. All the documentation has to be done as per the uh, load. Okay. So, all the load, whatever the physical, chemical and biological documentation as per the recommendation has to be conducted by the CSST technician. So, this is regarding a chemical indicator usage and by a biological indicator usage.